they were what we understand is they were the mighty powers of the universe the phenomenal forces they were the devas in the vedic period so arjuna could not have misunderstood the why they were the indra the rain the lord of rain the lord of mountains the lord of uh, the oceans the mighty phenomenal forces hmm. lord having told this to the children he turns back 125 degrees looks out and declares anger law what they are these mighty phenomenal forces bhavaya anin when they are cherished by your cooperative endeavor man sings his differences his ego his selfishness and acts in the society anywhere the mighty phenomenal forces thus invoked cherished adored with this seva this yajna spirit te deva those deva those mighty phenomenal forces bhavayantuva shall cherish you this is declared by the lord giver himself today's language it is a universal law that when man in the beauty of his life cherishes the outer phenomenal world that phenomenal world shall cherish you back this is a science that is recently 8 years old in the modern world ecology that man must have respect in nature or his nature will destroy him poison the sound poison or what is it sound pollution ah. and the natural pollution which would produce a lot of the atmosphere is being polluted you take you must be careful that the forest should not be cut off is it it and our program is not good it's destructive india is really recently come up 6000 years before christ by the way casually a poet puts it out and everybody understood because it was so well known as scientific truth at that time that when you cherish nature by the beauty of your work nature shall but it's not a question of nature may <coughs> nature should <laughs> nature shall no exception cherish you back thus parasparam bhavayanta thus man and nature together mutually adore each other shreya paramavamsi may you become your effort and the nature protecting you and cooperating with you and together thus reach the highest prosperity that the sky is all about